Hello, everyone, and welcome back once again to Gary's Mod. And today, the map we're going to be exploring is GM Growing Dark Room, or as it's known on the workshop page, Growing Map 2. This is the sequel to a map that I played last year, and I am so sorry, Chopper, for not getting to this sooner. I wanted to play this right away after the last one, but I figured, no, I'll give it a little break, and then it got pushed back, and then I just forgot about it completely. So here we are, skipping 2022 completely. Now this will probably be the first video of 2023. But better late than never, I suppose. Better late than never, an interesting phrase to use here, because look at that. We're clearly in the familiar garage bay area of GM Construct, now seen in a completely different light. This is like the dream version of visiting a familiar space. Now the garage door behind us trapping us inside? I assume that's some kind of teleport that takes us up there. But that door, the hallway to the dark room, completely barricaded, but with a crowbar there almost functioning as a key, placed there like some kind of open invitation to come see what's inside. And I am definitely curious. Oh, look at that. Ooh, okay. It just places it into my inventory. I was looking at that thinking, this feels like a trap, not just because it's in front of a dark area, but because I honestly, it conjured an image in my mind of me reaching out to grab it, and as soon as I wrap my fingers around the metal, some tentacle emerges from the blackness and wraps itself around my wrist and pulls me in, leaving the crowbar there for the next person to come try it. Now over here it says disable credits. I assume that refers to some kind of console command. I don't know what that is. I'm too lazy to exit VR and look it up. So whatever happens, I guess, is at my own risk. Man, look at this. It does almost have a Bernard's Door feeling, even though this entrance is there on the regular map. It's weird how this door has almost become kind of a shorthand for horror in the Source community. Like, everyone has that common experience of being creeped out wandering in here for the first time. And if you're like me, not wandering in here very often after that. You ever feel like the darkness is staring you in the face? Look, we can see the light fall off along the ceiling. The walls are too dark to even be able to tell. Do we have a flashlight? No? Okay. But we can use this one. Okay, so tell you what, I'm gonna cheat a little bit and see if I can't go into the spawn menu and retrieve it. That's good. Now, I went into Growing Map 1 with a horror mindset and it had some creepiness, but it more or less gave way to goofiness. Now, the reason for the crazy sudden tone whiplashes in the first one was because the whole premise of that map was that each room was suggested by someone in the community. And I believe this one follows that same premise, but it's a bit more linear and a bit more story focused. More of an adventure map, really. So I'm really interested to see how that translates. That's a dead end. Anything in that dead end? I'm just checking because uh, some dead ends proved to be quite spooky in the previous one. Oop. All right, let's knock you down. Huh. Are you some of the map's creators and suggestors hanging out in this very space? You know, that's actually really cool, showing players standing around in a photo of the room in the room. Because it kind of makes it feel more like I'm in an actual location and not just a video game map. Horror Baby, you chilling here as well? Oh, cool. All my friends are here. But hang on, there's something back here. 
Huh. Uh, we can probably bust this down then, right? Yeah, there we go. Uh, out of my way, please. Moving you by picking you up is not going to be the easiest thing. Oh. See, I almost thought that was like a wall in like a night sky, but turns out the ceiling was just dark. I was weirded out by the sudden cessation of any ambient tracks, but that frog quickly reassured me. <laughs> oh, you're gonna pull one of these on me, are you? Perfect place for a Scooby-Doo monster chase, but I don't think that's gonna be the case here. I think it's going to delight in my suffering watching me try each and every one of these doors. Okie dokie. Tell you what, uh, easier way to do this is probably to go up one side first, right? One cheeky thing they could do would be to make that light be a portal. It was really none of these doors. Okay, it was none of those. How about you? Another cheeky thing they could do is have me try each of these. It's none of them, and really there was a trigger at some point in this hallway that opened something up behind me. Oof. Ah, the HEV suit room. Looks like one's already been taken. Taken by the mole people, apparently. I was gonna say, is that meant to imply that there's someone else here? Someone that came in ahead of me? I just have to try all these doors first. All right. Well, into the tunnels we go then. Story of my life, huh? Yep. Yep. <sighs> A secret room. Car batteries submerged in what maybe is supposed to be water, but it looks more like some kind of energy shield. How do we move on from here? Maybe we can interact with this panel? This looks almost like it turns into some kind of stargate or something. It was interactable, but it doesn't seem to have done anything. Oh, maybe we need to... Okay, yeah, I see. Alright, let's uh, switch to our other thing for a moment. Alternate flashlight, just so that I don't get that annoying bug. Oops. Yeah, picking stuff up, not the easiest in VR. At least in this game. You go in there... And where's the other buddy? Right there. Alright, let's just make sure you're all properly seated. I can't actually seem to interact with you. Does that mean that... I'm not sure if that bloodstain was there before. Should I perhaps keep this crowbar out? You know, looking at it now, it's almost like someone stepped into the tube to put on the suit and then was dragged down and through here. Is that our objective? To find them? Or maybe just to find the suit? Oh. Okay, there are enemies. All right, let's do this. Whoa! Uh, was that meant to happen? This whole thing just fell down. And oh, no, we did not crush Mr. Headcrab. Did I just beat that headcrab to death with my flashlight? Or was it you? All right, I would really appreciate it if you guys would back right up. Uh, you know what? I'm not sure if I should spawn the safety Glock. I'm not sure, because... 
I imagine it'll probably give me a gun at some point if I'm meant to have one. I'm gonna try to play this as close to intended as possible. Die, die, die! All right. This isn't the first time I've used weapons against enemies in VR. I believe Nosokomophobia also had me doing the same thing. All right. Can we play cool? Come on. Get ready for the jump? No. Huh, the AI is behaving really weirdly. Yeah, perhaps eating those containers full of melons has made them docile. Or perhaps tipping over this box of these things has made them, I don't know, more respectful of authority? Here we are. Well, I'm glad to leave that room behind. <laughs> okay, let's do this. I've been waiting for this for years. Alright, come on. There we go. Do we get your stun stick? Oh, we actually do! Haha! -ha! Upgrade! That's right. Oh, this is actually so much fun. This is like what I imagined VR would be like. Like, as a kid. Huh. He's just been waiting here, waiting for someone to come along and be forced to pick up these cans. And maybe that someone should be us? I'm basically, at this point, just playing Viscera Cleanup Detail in VR. Ugh, come on. It's forcing me to bend my knees a whole lot, though. And can successfully picked up. Oh, what? You're not going to reward my time for that? Oh, how lame is that? All right, well, open up. I feel like there was a room similar to this on Growing Map. Kind of weird having the water just kind of end abruptly right on the same level as the tiles behind it, but... Uh, who am I to question the logic of the almighty Growing Map? Hear more zombies up ahead. I can hear them on my left. It's sort of starting to give me a picture of how all these rooms must, like, wrap around each other. After this is done, I'll have to do a noclip run because seeing it from the outside often gives you a weird new perspective on these things. It's never what you'd expect. Why does this feel like standing in a room from a memory? Like, for some reason, when I remember the early 2000s, I always remember it in a weird bright light like this. Now, if you listen, we can even hear the sounds of, like, cities and traffic outside. Whoa! Oh, they pulled the old no-clip floor on us. Uh, zombies. Zombies, zombies. Okay. Stun stick. In-game flashlight. Let's do this. You ready to tussle? Come on. Ugh. Is there another one coming up behind me? Oh, what does more damage? The stun stick or the... Alright. Killed just in time to stop you from sneaking up. Now, the stun stick is considerably slower. So I think it might be better to go with the crowbar in these situations? I mean, it feels like an upgrade, but it may not be. Wait. Whoa, wait, 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 I actually recognize this room. This was in the original growing map. I mean, we didn't come in from the ceiling, we came in from that door. And I believe some of you said that it's a reference to a space from, uh, was it Doom or Quake or something like that? I remember there was a bunch of shotgun shells waiting at the top. Ooh. So just in case the spikes weren't enough, 
Those are, well, they're lamps, but to me they look like landmines. Darwin, get up here! Ugh. I know you want to hang out with your friends, but now's not the time to be lazy. We're in danger. Friggin' lazy bones! Alright, you want to do it that way, huh? Come on. Come on, rush me. Rush me. Rush me. Rush me. Oh, come on. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. There's not a ton I can do about this. Die. 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 I don't even know how much health I have. You can't do this and not give me a gun. You're shooting me through the wall right now. Okay, you're dead. Uh, and now I have a gun. Now I have a gun and some health. Okay, unfortunately you are still physics props. Uh, which is gonna make getting through you difficult. I think... I don't need this gun. I think I have my own. Okay, we are officially... starting 2023 off with a bang. Uh, this is the 2023 debut of the safety Glock, and we're gonna see how it performs in a real situation. I don't think I've ever used it to fight enemies yet, or... Sort of! Oh no, oh no, oh no, run, 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 move, move, move! Oh god, that's a lot of them. That's a lot of them. I think maybe this is meant to be played co-op. Then again, it does seem like they maybe have reduced health. I think they may have damaged each other too there. Out of ammo. Come on. It's so hard to aim in the dark like that. <sighs> Been using you for a year and a half. What a way to get you started and break you in. Oh, really pulled the rug out from under me with that one, but once again, making a habit of making it impossible to traverse these doorways because they just become cluttered with all these bodies. Let's just insert new mag. There we go. Howdy. Boom. If I get you square in the middle, it's an instant kill. Oh, look, we're in a tunnel. I gotta say, this is actually feeling really cool to play. Yep, just pluck it off of your head. That's all you need. You don't need the rest of the dirty parts. Boom. Clint Eastwood. And there you are resetting. I am not going to destroy you, because you are potentially useful to me. Come on, this way. Come on, dum-dum. Right here. Yep. Oh, you're so stupid. Oh, watch you get hoisted up like a marionette. And swiftly decapitated. <laughs> uh, that's what happens to everybody who goes up against me one way or another. Now I wonder, should I be searching for findables such as health? I'm probably quite low on it. You will have to go. I've always loved how, in Half-Life, these things kind of void their guts when you kill them. And sometimes you see evidence of the ones who came before. <sighs> really pushing the limits of what's possible in VR. Better than staying here. Oop. I don't even want to move my arms because it causes me to move a little bit. Wait. Maybe we go back down for that. Oh, this game just delights in screwing with me, doesn't it? Making me check all those doors. Making me get jump scared by a million zombies pouring out of the walls around me. And now dropping a supply crate when I'm already halfway up a ridiculously tall ladder, but I probably needed that health. Okay, for real this time. Yep. 
I really truly expected there to be zombies right at the top. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I was just gonna say, middle school fantasy fulfilled. I actually just got to, in person, take on a herd of zombies at close range with Frog Father Grigori. Uh, or, I'm sorry, what was your name in, uh... I can't even remember, I just ejected a shell, what your name was in, uh, Elevator Source. There's more of you, though, aren't there? I still hear you... God... That is scary looking in person. Sitting up with your mouth agape and eyes swollen shut. For my soul is filled with evil, and like this place must be purged. I'm with you on that, but you're not gonna come with, are you? You know, I was talking about how this map is fighting me with the VR mechanics, but I really, really am enjoying it so much more because it's VR. I just wish these guys weren't so physics objecty. Health. And it looks like we're back up to max. So that's the thing, is that what I really love about VR is I feel like it gives you more of that personal connection to make things land that much more and to enable you to get more out of less. Now fast zombies, they may be a little bit difficult, and I think I just saw it crawl away. Nope, it was just another one. <sighs> really wish I could see my health. Does standing in the middle of this do something? I hope not. Come on. Exterminator service. It's like playing Duck Hunt. Come on. There we go. But there's more around the corner. Yep, there you come. Always gotta be the head. There we are. Just gotta take it slow. I actually kinda have to play this like ready or not. Look. We even get blood on our player model from being attacked. How crazy is that? Huh. Can't believe it's taken this long, but I'm finally playing a map where I'm actually playing. I suppose there was Nosocomophobia, but man, Safety Glock really getting its money's worth here. Boop, I'll take you. I was only a little bit damaged. But we'll remember that this is here. Hopefully we can backtrack. Get a whole bunch of ammo, that doesn't matter. And we don't need to chamber a new round so long as we replace the magazine before we've used it completely. Oh yeah, we're in another fight! This is so cool! Oh, antlions now! And combine! Oh, the safety Glock just won its first shootout. How sick is that? Oh, this is so cool. You know, it's crazy how few maps there are that are just doing crazy Half-Life levels. You know, because everyone's CPU is so much better now than it would have been in 2004, you can totally just have tons and tons of stuff going on. Oh, I'll have to play around with that myself. Now remember, once again, each of these levels is inspired by comments on the creation of this map. So what we're seeing is basically people's different ideas in each chamber. And these are some really good ideas indeed. Oh. Somebody's raided the morgue. And the bone brigade is in play. Haven't had to fight any bonies yet, but... Oh, well, it is right before New Year for me, and... After for you, so if any of them made it through the Christmas portal, they'll definitely be around 
here. Can we fire through these bars? I don't want a chance you getting out. You are always the most dangerous enemy, even with a keyboard and mouse. Right, die. Okay, we're killing some of you off. That's that dealt with. But there's more. There's more, I can hear them. Yep, there you are. Nothing in this one. Yep, toss them off. Makes them easier for me to hit. Alright, good. Nothing here, but some more ammo and some HEV suit. Which presumably means I'll take less damage when I'm hit. Anything back here? Come on. Okay, it doesn't look like we can do anything with this. Looks like a firing squad where one ran forward at the last moment. Didn't get very far, though. Huh. Is there anything here for us to collect? All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. And now, dear audience... <laughs> you can't do that! You can't just suddenly be a horror game! Oh, this is so cool, though! I was gonna say excuse me while I read each and every one of these. Are you inviting me to take my place on stage? I've got my sights trained on the thing. Stop doing that weird tracking. I've got my sights trained on the thing, but I'm ready to open fire behind me as well. Friendship cactus? Oh, this room was benevolent after all. Uh... Hmm? There's a very noticeable light coming from that corner. Okay, that caused the light to go out. Now... what? Uh, and I guess I'm not holding the friendship cactus anymore. Oh, it just disappeared. I guess I ate it. That's alright. It just means I have a blood bond with someone for life. Uh, the blood coming from my esophagus, mostly. Why are these bookcases backwards? I can't seem to knock them down. Maybe if we use the crowbar? Well, there are some books within. Nothing here, but certainly evidence of something here. Hi. <laughs> I really don't like the way you're just facing me. In the resolution of the index, for as good as it is, at that distance, I can barely make out your facial expressions, so you don't really look dead to me. Locked, okay. Oh, there's gonna be jump scares in this room. Oh, you stay where you are, please. Oh. It seems like each thing is sort of mostly an extension of the previous room. And only over time does a gradual change occur. Waiting for the bus, huh? Well, sometimes you gotta be the bus! Oh! 
Uh, thank you for healing the crippling leg wounds you just gave me. All right, let's get ready. Head level. Whoa, 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 you can't do that, you can't do that, you can't do that, that is some crap. Nope, 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 nope. Open up, open up, open up, open up, open up, open up. Goodbye, we can't handle that. Fisherm. I didn't even see what happened. Did they breach the wall or did they just spawn inside? I don't have time to fight you guys. I want to take some blood before I go, but... You were just sauntering on through. You weren't even bothering me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was Lamar. Ah, oh, you weren't going to attack at all. Come on, die. I don't have any health. I know it. Come on. I feel like John Wick. Please say there's some health here. I just lost so much, I know it. Oh no, they killed Kleiner. Huh. Well, I suppose it's for the better that Lamar died then, right? I mean, who was gonna take care of her? Yeah, that's how that works. Uh, can we still use the teleporter to... Oh, that's where the friendship cactus went! He teleported it right out of my hand! Oh, that's why I felt a disturbance in the force when he died. Can we interact with it, though? Unfortunately, it doesn't seem so. Okay. Okay, well, we have to look around here for some health. I don't have a lot, I know that much. There we go, all the health we can eat. Uh, this map is doing a really good job of rewarding exploration. It actually is, like, honest to God, good game design that we're seeing here. Are those breakable? No, I don't think so. Uh, it is such a trip to be standing in here. Like, actually, it's me standing in here looking around at this. To have some place that I've known for like 15 years and then to actually be standing in it, that's a trip. <laughs> wow, that photo is not gonna look good at my trial, is it? Can we walk through here? The Combine did. Do I have to break you or something? No, you don't seem to, oh, there we go. Break this maybe? No? Well, what do we do then? Oh, this is open. Okay, that took way too long to figure out. Let's just make sure you're loaded. I've gotten into the habit of just, like, combat reloading. As long as I know there's one in the chamber, there's really no downside, because I have infinite ammo. Exit. Well, there's more, so why do I disbelieve you? Yep. That's how it always is. For some reason, source mappers really love to taunt with fake exit signs. It's like GM Old Space is all over again. Or which one was it? Maybe it was Void Spaces. I don't quite remember which. Or they might have both done it. More health. Which, to use video game logic, makes me think you're preparing something for me. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Haha, <laughs> you're stuck in the door. Come on. This is not easy to aim. There we go. Killed your host, and then I killed you. But I can still hear more. Oh, a lot more. It gets really difficult because the tracking causes it to wobble a little bit.
Maybe I should finally invest in the index lighthouses. Because I'm still using the Vive ones. Alright. I'm content to keep this a turkey shoot. Is that all of you? Perhaps any crabs still running around on the ground? Yep, there's one. And that's how it's done. Why did it sound like your scream was still getting closer to me even after you died? I never noticed the way their belly is, like, pulled almost. Like, the skin on the front is still there, but stretched thin. And in Half-Life, it's implied these people are still alive, right? These guys, however, are not. Man, it really messes with me to constantly be going back and forth between day and nighttime environments. Uh, do I move forward to help, or...? Yes, yes, no, I have to help. I have to help. Make room over your shoulder! It actually kind of looks like you had this. All right, we good, guys? You didn't even need me. We can even, I mean, we don't need it, but we could even get health from here if we wanted. I'll take all that. Wow, you guys really were into a last stand. Oh, imagine this predicament. They're trapped here at the end of the tunnel, lit only by the fire. Hearing those sounds, those growls and screams and echoes coming from the darkness. I'd like to think I was a good save in that scenario, but it seems like they pretty much had it handled. You were not very attentive, were you? Oops. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, my major nitpick with this map right now is these ragdoll corpses that retain their physics. Makes it very difficult to get through doorways, which is where you're going to be killing most of them. There's a vent. Now, something could come from behind the bookcases? Something could come from the vent, but I'd wager the vent is where I'm supposed to go. However... I have not ruled out the possibility of something crashing through the skylight, either. Break. Break. Rewarded for breaking. Oops. Come on, let me through. Now that is what I call justice. Yep. <sighs> Once again, making a habit of immediately compensating me for the horrific injuries they cause me. Oh no. Oh, it's a parking garage section. Completely in the dark. Pillars all over, creating blind spots. Or I say pillars, they look more like Newports. Uh, something gonna crash through this wall? Because there's definitely something there. Oh, that's a neat trick have the door embedded partially in the wall. Does that mean that I can walk through? No. Okay, well, what do I do then? Maybe... Well, it's not breaking like normal, but look. In the muzzle flash, I can see the outline. Uh 
Oh. I see. When I move away, that's when you change it. I don't know if that's what the actual cigarettes look like, but come on, that's exactly what the box looks like, isn't it? Hello. And your friend. Any more of you? No. And it looks like the Combine didn't do as well as the Resistance in this area. Reflexes. <laughs> oh, you were really different looking. Were you maybe like a beta model or something? I don't know if I've ever seen that before. And that was cool, being able to shoot through the glass. I didn't know Source had bullet penetration like this. Could you potentially have dropped a grenade through there? Well, at this moment, we need to jump through another window. Oh, no! Didn't have quite the same reflexes for that. Uh, we do have a pulse rifle now. So, safety Glock, I think we're going to retire you for the moment. Oops. Can we get this open now? What do we do from here? Um... Well, there is a can here. Maybe if I... Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, uh... Safety Glock. Is that the sound of a Zombine? Did I just watch one spawn? Did that just happen? Feels like that's what happened right there. Oop, somebody right there as well. Oops. More of you. Please don't make a habit of doing that. Oh, great platforming, my favorite. With you guys regularly respawning. Yep. This is gonna be an issue, is it not? Oop, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Ugh! I might just have to no-clip this. That may become a necessity. And let me guess, this platform is gonna keep getting clogged with bodies? Ooh, oh, come on, we made it. We were there. Die, please. These things are so fast, too. Ugh. Tell you what. We... You're gonna want me to shoot the can from here, aren't you? You want me to throw it and bring it there. I think that might be the end of this. I don't know if that's possible. <sighs> Come on. All right, attempt two. There we go. All right, just had to use a little bit of no clip, but it worked out for us in the end. Now let's clear out our friends. This is just too much fun. Getting decent at this. Howdy, what is that? Should I just... What do you guys need help with? That was a... Ooh! Did that guy just clobber me in the back of the head and... I wake up in the melon room? Uh, Alright, onward brothers. Onward! Someone somewhere needs our help. Oh, we lost all our weapons. This is all we've got. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 Come on now. Come on! Get off my property! We don't want any. Here they come. Hope this shotgun has infinite ammo. Where are they at? Crazy how holding out my hand like this actually does help me to aim better. Nope. 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 I don't know if I even have a crowbar anymore. 
If this isn't infinite ammo, I will just respawn the safety Glock. Okay. You're giving me more of that. Don't I need more health as well? Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to figure something out. Take those shotgun shells. Very good. Uh, I, did I get your gun? Yeah, I got your SMG. Awesome. Didn't make a sound, so it confused me. This really does just feel like playing Half-Life 2 and... VR! No, come on, that's stupid, that's stupid, that's stupid, that's stupid! Come on, you can't do that! What?! I have to come all the way back here?! Wait, there's a portal right here. Are there maybe, like, checkpoints or something? Uh... Oh, back to here? No, that is stupid. Okay, I'm gonna be doing a lot of no-clip here. That is so stupid. Hey guys, hey again. Long time no see, missed ya. Alright, we have unsettled business, sir. No, you don't. No, you do not. Only I. Now, how do we get past here? No, that worked more in my favor than I thought it might. Okay, well, I'll just let you guys deal with that then. Ah, uh, this is about to be over. And once again, I'm choked. Once again, I'm choked in the hallway by all these corpses. Thank you. Uh, I don't thank you yet. Thank you for clearing the hall, though. How many of you are there? I'm starting to think this is meant to be played co-op. Oh, there's so many of you. Great. Are we finished? Are we finished? Nope, no we're not. But I'm not sure what all I can do about it. I can sort of hit you from here. Oh, this carpet is impossible to move over. Who's shooting at who right now? Nope. And you guys are very grenade happy here. In fact, so grenade happy, you don't even check if your own guys are there. Real helpful that when I jump up, I can see through the ceiling. That really helped me in taking you guys down. You may think that's an unfair advantage, but I think a lot of things that just happened were an unfair advantage in their favor. I actually didn't lose nearly as much health as I thought! Yeah, that's what you get. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, they did it again to me. Oh man, it's like, it's almost like dying in a dream where as soon as you reach some kind of crescendo, you either wake up or, well, get transported to somewhere else entirely. Hmm. I got a little bit ridiculous, started to feel almost a little bit like uh, Frozen Winter 2. Oh, it's doing that weird thing again giving an outdoor 
ambiance and outdoor properties to an indoor space. That's a weird contradiction that I've always found really interesting. This map earlier with the swing set, and even earlier maps that I've played have done something similar. Usually liminal space maps, but... Wait, oh no, wait. Oh! Come on, come on, come on, it's not letting me do anything! Uh, I've had a weird thing going on ever since I reloaded, where for some reason my fingers will just like stop working. Before it was only on the right hand though. Alright, thank you for the health. Sorry I couldn't be of more help. That was really funny though. Ooh, all my... Is that all my stuff from before? It's a physics object blocking me from progressing. Can't go through there though. I wonder if I was faster, could I have saved some of you? And you too. Sort of stun stick to a safety Glock fight. Well, let's be ready. Nothing to be ready for, I guess. Oh, that's actually pretty good sound design. Like, I can hear them running around upstairs like it's a whole raid on an apartment. It's got the spirit of that beginning scene of Half-Life 2. Alright, let's go. Oh, uh, doing that in VR? That would be so cool. I wonder if Half-Life 2 itself is actually playable. Oh, great. Let me guess, some of these are gonna fall away at random. Yep. 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 Oh, there's a particular path that I'm meant to take. All right. All righty dokey. This is so hard to do. Oh, come on. Hey, look at that. We solved the puzzle. No patience for platforming in VR. What are you preparing me for? Well, whatever it is, it's gonna be crazy. And we gotta be crazier. Oh no. Oh no. It's a boss arena complete with boss music, and is that the boss? Oh, great. What are you gonna do? What's your boss gimmick? Oh no. Uh. Do I. destroy you guys? Uh, sure, I can do that. Am I meant to destroy them before they get to me? Ooh! Do I have to shoot these things? No? Bang? I'm confused as to what I'm supposed to be doing right now. I mean, perhaps if I roll you over here... Maybe if I blow you all up at once? I mean, I shouldn't be letting the room fill with them like this, but... Maybe it'll destroy the columns? No? I mean, I have to destroy these things, right? It's the source of its power? Oh, yes, no, I actually do. Ah, oh, they're repelling in from the ceiling! Nope. Ugh.
Okay, there we go. Yep. Come on. All right. Oh, there's a whole bunch of you now. <laughs> Ooh. Get away from that. Bang and bang. I'm only doing this because I'm getting, like, no feedback from the ground. Boop. And boop. <laughs> Send them flying. Now I remember why this game was so popular when it came out. The physics really are fun to play with. Boom. Oh, you didn't die. All right, safety Glock. Woohoo! Oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, forget the intended experience. I'm just having fun with, like, what it actually is right now. All I'm capable of. <laughs> oh. Come on, blow it up. Don't have time for tracking issues right now. Boom. Okay, now that's blown open. Do I just shoot the heck out of you, or maybe even shoot that? I mean, it sounds like there's a sort of react... Oh. You're Dr. Breen in a mech suit, but unfortunately we can't shoot through the glass like we did before. All right, come on, let's go. There we are. I'm all out of rocket ammo, so I can't use that to hasten this. Oh, and there's there's more. All right. Well, let's try and do this at least somewhat legit. Ah, uh, you're starting to shoot flaming barrels now. An actual threat to me. It's actually really hard to get an angle from here. Oh, boy! Well, this may be a little bit too difficult for VR. As you. Yeah, this is... I just can't do this, like, normally because it's, like, impossible to aim. That did not kill nearly as many of you as it probably should have. And there we go. Oh, no, it's a Dr. Robotnik boss. You're flying around the map shooting flaming barrels everywhere. Oh, it's... This is Gary's Mod Source Chaos. Ugh. I just noticed there's a bunch of hatches in the ground. Uh... Ugh. What is all this? Howdy, son! You need me. I don't need nobody but me. I guess I won? I have to say, that was actually... Like, I couldn't really do it normally in VR, right? But with a group, I feel like that's actually a lot going on there. So much custom work that's gone into that. I mean, a whole, like, mech fight just using what's available in the Source engine. And that really was hectic. I feel like it really took advantage of everything that Gary's Mod has going for it. The chaos and the randomness and sort of the cobbled together nature of what all of this is. It was actually a really appropriate boss fight for if you consider Gary's Mod itself to be a game and not just a sandbox platform. Kitty? Hello, little kitty. Hi. This is the current end of the map. Come back later. <laughs> oh, I wonder if maybe while this was being developed, maybe this is what you would see if you got to a certain point that was all that was done. But now, now that the map is complete, we can actually crash through it and exit. And if I recognize the stairwell, exit back onto where we came from. No. We've actually made it back out onto Contra... The end, thanks for playing. Huh, okay, uh, this music is a little bit loud, so... So that was Growing Map 2, and 
even in spite of all the jankiness caused by my own decision to play it in VR, it actually still worked really well, and in fact, I think I enjoyed it more than I would have had I played it in standard mode, even though it clearly wasn't intended to be played this way. It almost has that same feeling as Growing Map 1, but applied in a different direction, where the first one was more like some of the liminal space maps I've played, where each room is kind of like a gallery dedicated to an idea. This one was more gameplay and more action-oriented, while still maintaining some of that craziness and goofiness. I don't know, it really felt like playing... like playing a mod for an old-style game, you know? Cobbled together, yet cobbled together using really interesting ideas and the kind of thing that probably wouldn't be used in an actual game. Now, before I forget, uh, let's try and do a noclip run, because I'm really curious to see what our travels have actually looked like. Alright, so we are here. There's the boss chamber. I still hear a manhack. Oh, look. Wait, I almost missed this. Look at that! Oh, the attention to detail. We can even find Breen's charred corpse in the remains of his wreck. His chair, however, is fine. I've always wanted to sit in that chair. But let's get out of here. Yeah, there's that man. Wait. Oh, there you are. Two of you. Wait. Whoa, wait, what's going on here? Am I hitting, like, a teleport or something? Oh, I see. It's a different scene. The room that we end up in after it explodes is actually a separate room downstairs. Are you guys, like, shooting at me somehow, or is there another one near me? Hang on, no loose ends. Alright, so that's that. Oh, look. We've actually been descending this entire time. Let's turn on the flashlight so we get some contrast. Uh, yeah, down here is the room. The prep room. Uh, here's that weird janky jumping section. And here is the apartment raid. We fell down from here, up through here. Yeah, that's where we had that really annoying fight. Are your ragdolls still there? Look at that carpet of bodies. Didn't we actually have a similar thing happen on Growing Map 1? Only the difference was we brought that on ourselves because we pushed the button to spawn all the Combine. That is like my one big criticism with this map, is like even if I had been playing in standard mode, packing all of this into that little chamber uh, would have been a recipe for frustration in trying to get through. Also, in spawning a, one of the most deadly enemies in the game directly behind me, that was a stupid move. Uh, okay, uh, through here. Now, we got teleported into that room. We were teleported into the melon room, but it's geographically very close. Uh, let's follow this more from the outside, yeah. Up around here to Kleiner's lab. Oh, that must be the chute that acts as a checkpoint. I bet if we come through here... No, 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 no. There must have been a teleport partway down. So if we come up here... Well, wait, there's that ladder we had to climb. Uh, it's crazy how much up and down we did, even though it felt really like we were mostly descending the entire time. I feel like I'm hitting certain teleports at certain points, too. All right, so up here is this. This was early on, was it not? Yeah, woo, real vertigo doing that. Ah, uh, there is where we jump down. Man, they're not even connected. So if we come out... I'm trying to find where we actually started our adventure. But I'm having a hard time getting I. Oh, there we are. So we came through here, yeah, and through... We fell down from above. But I don't see... No, they're not actually directly connected. There was another teleport. Because we had jumped down through here. Oh no, right, there was that right there. Oh, it's weird how I'm kind of piecing this together in reverse. Because, you know, it's sort of like a dream, if I'm going to keep using that comparison. I've gotten so lost in this, spending so much time in the moment, that I haven't really been thinking about the overall journey. 
which is kind of a weird experience to be having. It's like all the stuff that we're coming through now, all the stuff back here, which uh, let me just take a moment to check time. I've been recording for an hour and 48 minutes, and a lot of that was before I started playing this map. So, I don't know. It's weird how much of this feels like a distant memory. I notice here that there's two of these. Ah, and this takes you back to here. Okay, so these checkpoints open up as you progress. This has been kind of an extended outro, but I want to once again reiterate that I had an absolute blast with this. I mean, just the way you get immersed, even playing through simple scenes. Father Grigori pointing his gun at me and me putting my hands up, like that was... There was just something so fun about that. And I'm so glad that I got to experience it. I would love to see different takes on growing maps. The first one was like an art gallery where you just see everything. This one was more linear and more action-y. I really do wonder what kind of ideas you could do with this. But if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this map out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.